Sig, what was it like working at HEB? It was like slavery. They treated me like straight up donkey pee. Silver syrup. They trade. They treated me like a straight up slave. My job was to get the carts at HEB. HEB was a food store, and they, every time I come inside to get a drink of water, they'd be like, "Why are you in here, for? Can't you carry a bottle of water with you outside? If I carry the bottle with me outside, it's gonna get hot, and I'm be drinking boiled hot ass sun water. Can I come inside and get some air conditioning water, please?" It was ridiculous, man. I had the rudest manager ever. It was, uh, no offense to the homosexual community, it was a lesbian dyke looking female with a crew cut and skinny as hell with the nastiest, stinkiest attitude. Her name was Rashonda. I remember her name because I used to pray every night for God to send a meteorite down and hit that bitch. She was rude to me, crude to me, didn't treat me with any respect made fun of me to my face, made fun of me behind my back with other managers. She was just the most evil, it was like the wicked witch of the H-E-B. She was just the evilest female ever. One time I mistakenly put a ball, she told me to put the ball in a different area. She told me to put the ball in the corner. So I did exactly as she asked me to do. I put the ball in the corner. When I put the ball in the corner, she used to have her little friends that was co-managers of the H-E-B. And the little co-manager friends used to run and tell Rashonda what I did so Rashonda could make fun of me in front of everybody in the H-E-B store. So this girl saw that I put the ball in the corner and she ran her little tater tail snitching ass to Rashonda and said, Rashonda, look where he put the ball. He put the ball in the corner. He didn't put the ball in the ball pin. And then Rashonda said, come here, DeAndre. Come here right now. I said, yes, ma'am. How old are you? I said, I'm 18, why? No, I think I was, yeah, 18, why? Then act like it. And she said it so loud. Act like it. I, it echoed in the store. All the customers turned around to stare at me. Then act like it. I was so mad. I went outside, I started I started pushing over the baskets, y'all. I was so mad that she disrespected me like that in front of the whole department store. I swear to God, I wanted a Hadouken, Hadouken. I was red ass, donkey, penis, pest. Oh man, I was so mad, T. I was so mad, bro. And they was trying to calm me down outside. They were like, don't get mad, DeAndre. They used to call me D6 because I had a name tag that said D6 before I made my YouTube account. They're like, don't get mad, D6. Don't get mad, D6. Calm down. Are you at, at work, Joaquin? Don't get in trouble, Joaquin, watching my stupid ass. They're like, don't get mad, D6. I said, nah, bro, she shouldn't talk to me like that, bro. She shouldn't talk to me like that, bro. I'm tired of her, bro. Because she would do that all the time. I remember, I remember one time Rashonda sent me home for drinking water, y'all. For drinking a cup of water, y'all. I was outside for hours getting the baskets. I come inside. I'm drinking the cup of water and I'm looking at her out of my per peripheral vision. I'm looking at her as I'm drinking my water. And she sees me looking at her. She comes up to me. She said, go home. I said, what? Yeah, go home. I said, go home, go home for what? Go home, she wouldn't even answer why I had to go home. She just forced me to go home. And I was pissed off because I was supposed to have my first ever lunch that day. And I had my lunch already. I went to Whataburger, I had a nice burger. I was gonna tear that burger up during lunch. I got so mad, I got my goddamn burger. I started eating the burger inside of the goddamn store. And I walked out of the goddamn store. I was so mad at her. She would pick on me all the time. I complained one time, Skat Team. I complained one time to my manager, my manager, uh, I forgot her name. My manager, Jana, my manager, Jana, she said she'll talk to her about it. That's the only time my manager, because Ernie, the, the gay homosexual boss that used to hit on me, he was cool with Rashonda because Rashonda was a lesbian and Ernie was a homosexual. So he would cut for her, whatever she do, whatever, she, whatever happened, Ernie let her do whatever she wanna do. She could cuss anybody out. She could treat anybody like trash. And Ernie gonna, gonna rock with her gonna allow her to do that because Ernie was a piece of trash too. Ernie was rude to me too because I didn't want to give him none of my booty. I wasn't down with the fruity. He wanted to get mad at me. He wanted to harass me. He wanted to talk mess about me. 
All this, I, bro, all that, I prayed, bro, I prayed, bro. And I remember many years ago when that H-E-B got flooded out during the hurricane, uh, I used to call it Hurricane Ike and Tina. I, I did a video many years ago before I deleted it, riding my bicycle as they were cleaning out the H-E-B because it was flooded with water. And I was screaming, H-E-B is dead, bitch. H-E-B is dead, Ernie, I hate you. I hate you, Ernie, I hate you, Ashonda. H-E-B is dead, and that's why I started working outside only, because back then I used to be a bagger and I used to work outside too. I had two jobs, but it was one job. After Rashawn to keep being rude to me and everybody, basically everybody in the entire H-E-B was rude to me after they learned I wanted to be a comedian. After they learned I wanted to be a comedian, they all started making fun of me. They all were saying I wasn't funny. I told one of my male co-workers that I thought was my homeboy a personal story about me being molested by my stepfather. And then he went blabbing everybody, all my co-workers. So everybody in the H-E-B knew I was molested by my stepfather. And they started making fun of me. They started m making fun of me. And then they started saying that I wasn't funny. That I would never be a comedian. That I would never get fans. And on this day, I may not be famous. But on this day, I worked solely on YouTube 12 years. I had fans. There may not be a lot of fans, but I got people that care about me. I got people that call me funny every day. I'm so glad I didn't let what those people was telling me at that time deter me from my dream. And I'm glad that I didn't let those people at that time stop me from doing what I wanted to do with my life. But they treated me real disrespectful at that H-E-B. Damn, that job really traumatized you. Now you see why I don't want to do a regular job. That job and my other job taking care of senior citizens. My grandma was a client and my grandma had a bucket full of feces and it slipped and it doused me with feces. After that, and working at H-E-B, I said, I don't give a shit. I can live under a bridge. I can I can die under a bridge. I'm not going to do no regular job. And I stay true to that ten, for now, what, 10, 11, 12 years later. I just can't do it, y'all. I just can't do it, man. I'm being honest. I can't do it. They, they were so mean to me, T, in that damn H-E-B, bro. I said, I'm not doing it. I said, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I remember one time I went to another H-E-B to work because the other H-E-B needed help because of a hurricane or something. It was disrespectful to me at the other H-E-B, too. I ain't got time, bro. It's like, people don't like me, y'all. I, I don't understand. People just don't like how I am. How I talk, you know, I'm goofy. I'm not like everybody else, you know. I, I talk too much. I got a loud mouth. They don't like me. People in my personal life do not like me. They think I'm weird. Straight guys think I'm gay. Females think I'm a, a pedophile or a rapist or a murderer. They think every negative thing about me. And I'm not this terrible person. I keep to myself. I don't harass anyone. I don't do any nasty behavior to anybody. But people just hate me. They think all these negative things about me. And they treat me like trash. Like seriously, my whole life, people have treated me like trash. Y'all think I'm kidding. Y'all think I'm joking. Y'all think I'm making a joke my whole life. From the womb until the tomb, they have treated me with so much disrespect. Like my father was Hitler or some shit. And I think people just take advantage of me because they know I'm not going to be no, no rude person or mean person nine times out of ten. I'm pretty nice. So that's what developed my, my character where I'm meaner now and I tell people what's on my mind. That H-E-B experience is why I'm like I am today. Where I tell people what I think, where I argue with people for hours, where I don't care what people say about me, where I cuss you out, where I make fun of you. Because all that mess, that Rashawn the mess, that Ernie mess, them people making fun of me, those people talking about me, all that, it build up and I never talk back to them at H-E-B. I never talk back to them. I never got an argument back. I always took it. I always took it. I always took it. And in the end, I said, you know what? I ain't going to take it. I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do to make it.